All right, this is the plan. It's super windy. We got rid of the long pole, so usually it's 13 feet. Now it's only about six feet. So it's much stronger like this. It isn't gonna get the really good winds, but I mean, it's so windy anyways. Um, I have a smaller blade, so it doesn't grab too much wind and doesn't break. So this one's a high speed, um, high wind, wind turbine. It's about three feet. So I'll put it up there and it'll generate power because right now our power is off. So the power lines are down. So this is the only power we have. I use this to run the internet, um, run lights at night, and run fans. Turbine destroyed building from hurricane. Wind turbine creating power. The destructive force of the hurricane. So I have this homemade light. It was 50 cents. I made it from a car, a 12 volt bulb. I have three lithium ion batteries underneath here. And then I also have this fan, and we use this for about five hours. So I have three lithium ion batteries in parallel. So this is uh, four volts fully charged, three volts empty. And there's a drill motor in there. There's a switch on the side. And there you go. So it's running for five hours. So it's very hot here in Mexico, so this definitely helped us sleep. And the power's still out. Wind turbine tower structure is still standing. Nice. So these laptop batteries, and I'm powering through a 75 watt inverter, and I plug the modem in there. So our power is down, but the internet cable is still intact. So I have internet now. The hurricane uh, just passed over, basically, but we're not going to have electricity, I think, for quite a while. So now we can send messages and do all that kind of stuff. It's pretty amazing. Batteries, and we're running the inverter, and then we can plug a bunch of low power things. We have the internet modem, and we can charge iPhones, stuff like that. It's great. I came moving. All battery powered. And pizza made in a gas oven. See, there's fire. No electricity. So we still have really strong winds. I just took this outside. So I had the larger 1.5 meter, four and a half feet wind turbine. And now I have the small one. This is about a three foot. Uh, it spins a lot faster, and even with this small ratio, I got 30 volts open uh, circuit voltage, so that's really, really good. I can't put the large one on the roof because the, the wind is way too fast. It'll just get destroyed. So I'm going to try putting this one on and see what happens. But this is where this is super, super useful. Our power is out. If I flip the switch, nothing happens. So now we have very windy conditions where we can make a lot of power um, from a wind turbine, and the power is out, so the power is super useful. Nobody else on the street has power, so it's really cool. Put a wind turbine up here, but it's very windy. I don't know if it's a good idea. It's still kind of like hurricane-ish, tropical storm winds. But our power is down, so this is exactly what we need to create power. It's a perfect situation. We have no power, so every little bit of power I get with the wind turbine. now. So lucky I have it on a short pole. The long pole just snapped off already. Oh wow. It's really vibrating. You can hear the whine. This motor the generator is really whining. Maximum 29.5 watts, 2.4 amps at 12.27 volts.